And if you don't know, now you know. Good thing I got a haircut right before this whole lockdown situation happened. Let's put this back on. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Edward and on Instagram I go by Trail Ready Foreigner. Welcome. I hope you guys are staying sane during this chaotic moment in our lives. I thought I'd come out with another video to hopefully keep you guys entertained at least for I don't know how long this video is gonna be 10 minutes hopefully I doubt it hopefully you guys can hear that but on my mic it looks like you guys can it's raining again anyways so I'm gonna show you guys how to refill these Coleman propane tanks that we all use when we're camping so I've been camping for over 10, 15 years, and I didn't even know you can get these refilled or refill them yourself. I would always just go to Walmart or Rite Aid, wherever they sell these, and just grab a set of two when we're going camping. But after a while, I realized, dude, in some spots, these are like five bucks a pop compared to a big five gallon propane tank which is like 15 to 20 bucks to fill all right so in the last camp trip that we took a couple of buddies of mine's were gonna throw these away and i told them that they can refill them and they were a little shocked so it gave me the idea to come up with this video to hopefully spread the word so let's save some money and i'll show you guys how to refill these small propane tanks online you can also read that People take these and they shove them in their freezer to get them really cold. What that's doing is it's chilling the can so that the process of propane will slowly flow into this cold propane tank. And it's just slowing the process down so it doesn't flood in. But if you got five, four cans, like, I mean, if you have room, go for it. Um, if you do it that way, you don't have to really do this release pressure thing. But if you're like me and it's the day before the trip and you need to refill a couple of cans. All right, so you don't need that many tools to get this done. All you're gonna use is the adapter that goes onto the propane tank and onto the bottle. You're also gonna need a set of really um, small needle nose pliers, preferably smaller than this if you can because this barely makes the cut <sighs> of course a bunch of empty cans and last but not least a five gallon propane tank all right so step one is to get your adapter put it on the propane tank make sure this is in the off position make sure it's snug so no gases come out and make sure you do this in a well ventilated area so crack a door or you even do it outside it's probably safer just because there's gases being released and all that now you take your empty propane tank once you got that on pretty snug go ahead and flip this big propane tank and make sure you have access to this valve. I like to do it on the edge of my welding table just so that there's more room for me to go in there and turn the valve on. Once you got it flipped, go ahead, reach underneath. See if you guys can see it. So what I do is I tilt the can a little bit and start turning.
So now the valve is open, letting all the propane seep into this small propane tank. I normally let it sit for a while till you, you stop hearing the gases flowing in. What's gonna happen is the liquid's gonna go in through here and fill up the bottom of, the, of this small propane tank. Now, once it's halfway, you can technically turn off the valve, take this off and you're done, but you're only gonna have half a tank of propane. So the key is to turn the propane tank and the big propane tank at an angle. And you have to keep in mind this little pin here, that's a release valve, which allows you to release the gases that are trapped in, in the top part of the can. So what you wanna do is the big propane tank has to have enough fluid to be able to fill the tank. So the tank has to be at a certain angle. So I would say this angle to flow in and fill as much of the tank as possible. Once you have that angle and, and you think all the, as much gas can go into the tank as possible can go in, you take the needle nose pliers and you you shove them in this little hole and you'll fill you'll fill the stem and you you give it a couple of pumps what that's doing is it's taking out all the pressure that's built up in there that's blocking the propane from entering the tank so once that pressure is relieved you do it maybe three four times and you'll see some once you start seeing white gas, that means you're starting to hit the liquid. So just stop. And if you hear a little bit of gas, just poke it down a little bit to seal it back up. So like we discussed earlier, the propane has now flowed in and filled this halfway. So now what we need to do is tilt this over so that more liquid can flow into the tank. All right, so this is probably the angle you want. So liquid is filled hopefully above this stem as well as flowing down and into the bottle. Now your release valve needs to be at the top so that when you release it, all you're releasing is gases and not liquid. This is gonna be super complicated to kind of film and do, but let's give it a shot. And when you do this, you can hear, when you release the gases from here, you can hear the liquid flowing in to the container. So just keep your ear on it. You can start seeing the gases start come out. So you're good. All right, so after you're done with that step, let's go ahead and get this can flipped over. All right, guys, once you flip this over, go ahead and turn off this valve, the valve to the big propane tank. Don't just unscrew this because then you'll get all your propane tank will blow out. And trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> Turn that off and you're go ahead take this one off and you're gonna get a little bit of gas escaping once this releases but that's just from the gases that are locked in from here to here there it is that's about that's almost full it's probably like about here once that, once you get that out of the way, you can go ahead and remove this valve and you're all set.
All right, so be honest. How many of you guys did know about this little hack that you can refill these containers? Honestly, I only knew about a year ago, which I'm super surprised because could have saved me a shit ton of money. But I'm glad I know now, and hopefully more of you guys know as well. All right, guys, that's all for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave this video a like if you enjoyed or learned anything from our, my content. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that bell so you're notified the next time I upload a video. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace out. And if you don't know, now you know.